IPL offers a microbiological contamination or diesel bug method, specifically IP385, that can enumerate fungi, yeast and bacterial species in diesel fuel. So how does microbiological contamination in fuel occur? Microorganisms, or bugs as they are commonly called, are living organisms that are too small to be seen by the naked eye. They are usually single-celled organisms such as bacteria, yeasts, mould, fungi or algae. Bugs require water for growth and although bacteria and fungi can be present in the fuel phase, their growth and activity is generally restricted to the water phase of the fuel. Most growth and activity takes place where the fuel and water meet. The tank bottom fuel and water interface is the most obvious boundary. However, there are also considerable areas of interface on the interior surface of the tank shells. Bugs are often stuck to or combined with dust and water droplets. This can get into fuel tanks through tank vents as product heats and cools naturally. Once in the tank, the bugs can either stick to the surfaces of the tank or end up in the fuel or fuel water interface. What are the bugs commonly involved in microbiological contamination of fuels? Diesel bug is an informal name for Hormogonus resinae, which is a species of fungi that is most commonly involved with microbiological contamination in diesel. Sulfate reducing bacteria are also commonly associated with Hormogonus resinae. So why test for microbiological contamination in fuels? Sulfate reducing bacteria and other bugs can produce acid, which accelerates the corrosion process by chemically etching the metal surfaces of tanks and pipes which in turn can lead to holes and pitting. Diesel bug can produce large amounts of biomass that can block filters and fuel lines, as well as causing accelerated corrosion in fuel tanks. So how do we do it? A known volume of fuel is run through a membrane filtration system. Liquid passes through the filter and the bugs and particulates are trapped on the surface of the membrane. This membrane is then transferred to the dish containing agar, which provides nutrients for the viable bugs to grow during the incubation period of three to five days. Each bug that was trapped on the surface of the membrane will start to grow and multiply very quickly so that eventually a visible mass or colonies appears on the surface of the membrane. These are then counted and reported as colony forming units per litre. How can IPL identify microbiological contamination in fuel? The IP385 test method is useful as it removes oily residues that may inhibit microbiological growth from the filters and agar post-filtering. The method in use by us offers differentiated yeast, fungi and bacteria count as some fungi inhibit bacterial growth and vice versa. Further information on this type of analysis can be found on our website, ipl.co.nz.